Hello, everyone. My name is Yan Zhu, and I'm very happy to uh, present to you our research work indexing the metrics profile to allow arbitrary range queries. This is the 17th paper in the metrics profile series. Metrics profile is a near universal time series data mining tool, which can be used to do motif discovery, anomaly detection, chain discovery, semantic segmentation, etc. Uh, we have published more than 20 uh, papers in the Metrics Profile series. You can find all of them from our Metrics Profile project webpage. So what is the Metrics Profile? The Metrics Profile is a data structure that annotates a time series. Here is a seismic time series. We can use a sliding window to run across the time series and each window contains a subsequence of the time series. If the time series is of length n and the window size is m, then we can extract n minus m plus one subsequences from the time series. We can, uh, we, can then uh, we can then calculate their pairwise distances. The matrix profile tells us the nearest neighbor information of every subsequence in this time series. The nearest neighbor information consists of two parts. The matrix profile shows us the distance from each subsequence to its nearest neighbor, and the matrix profile index tells us the location of the nearest neighbor of each subsequence. So what can we do with the matrix profile? We can uh, use it to find time series motifs. The matrix profile has two minimum points. These pair of minimum points correspond to the first motif in the time series, which is the closest pair of subsequences in the time series. Uh, in our example here, the minimum values uh, of the matrix profile correspond to a pair of repeated earthquake patterns in the seismic time series. We can also use the matrix uh, uh, the matrix profile to uh, find time series discords. Uh, here, instead of looking at the minimum values, we look at the maximum values. The matrix profile actually peaks at the discord pattern, um, which is indicated in green here. This is a discord in the ECG uh, time series, which indicates a premature ventricular contraction pattern. Uh, we, can use the type, uh, we can use the matrix profile to discover many other useful primitives in the time series. The matrix profile can be computed very fast. Um, uh, uh, recently, there has been a set of uh, super efficient algorithms to compute the matrix profile, and uh, they remain uh, as the state-of-the-art exact motif discovery and discord discovery algorithms. However, the matrix profile only supports global queries, so it can answer queries like what is the most abnormal pattern within the time series or what are the most similar, uh, most similar patterns within the whole time series. It does not answer ad hoc queries regarding a section of the um, a section of the time series. For example, do we have any unusual motifs corresponding to that unusually cool summer two years ago, or is there any abnormal pattern within the last quarter of last year? We can recompute the matrix profiles uh, for the section in question, but that will be very inefficient. The time complexity of that is O n squared, where n is the length of the section. We may want to issue such ad hoc queries um, a lot uh, while we uh, explore the time series data. So to improve the ad hoc uh, arbitrary range queries, uh, in this work, we introduce uh, Stump, Scalable Time Series Ubication Matrix Profile. Our goal here is to pre-compute a meta matrix profile, which can be used later to allow for efficient queries um, of the following types. First is um, uh, the matrix profile corresponding to an arbitrary region of a time series. Second is a matrix profile corresponding to a time series with an arbitrary region excluded. 
In addition to these absolute range uh, matrix rule files, STEM also supports efficient computation of relative range matrix profiles. That means we can place some constraint on the nearest neighbor location for every subsequent in the time series. We can, think, uh, we can configure it such that the nearest neighbor is at most or at least x units away from the subsequence. Here, x can be an arbitrary number. So how do we compute a matrix profile? The matrix profile is essentially the column-wise minimum of the distance matrix. Here, dij is the distance between the ith subsequence and the jth subsequence of the time series. Um, the brute force computation takes O n squared m time to compute the whole distance matrix and the matrix profile, which is untenable. The STOM algorithm reduces this to O n squared. We build our STOMP algorithm on top of STOMP. Now let us to, uh, uh, take a look at a row of the distance matrix. This is called a distance profile, and the ith row is called the ith uh, distance profile. Let's assume that the ith distance profile looks like this. And we can see that uh, there, there are a bunch of infinity values around index i. Uh, we call this uh, an exclusion zone, and uh, this will help us to avoid uh, finding trivial matches. We would like to get uh, to, to have a fast algorithms to get the minimum values corresponding to arbitrary ranges of a distance profile. Or the minimum values are uh, um, excluding any arbitrary range of the distance profile. To compute the minimum value within an arbitrary range, we divide the distance profile into two parts, um, the left distance profile and the right distance profile. We, get, we, then, we then scan through the um, last dis, left distance profile from index i all the way to the beginning, and we call the minimum so far on the way. So uh, you can see here that the, uh, the updates uh, of the minimum so far values uh, and locations uh, are highlighted in blue. Uh, we do the same for the right distance profile while we scan through it from index i all the way to the end. Uh, we keep the minimum so far values along the way. Once we have these minimum so far values, we can use binary search to find the minimum value within an arbitrary range efficiently. Uh, we apply the similar, uh, we, we apply exactly the same technique when computing the minimum value excluding an arbitrary range. Here we store the minimum so far values as we scan through the distance profile from left to right and then from right to left. We again apply binary search to find the minimum values. The space complexity of our algorithm is O n log n. Uh, here there are n distance profiles, and uh, in each distance profile, we keep log n numbers of minimum so far values. The time complexity of our algorithm is O n square log n. Uh, know that this is um, a one time uh, running. Um, of the indexing algorithm. Once the indexing is built, we can uh, use the information provided there to repeatedly compute um, arbitrary range matrix profile queries uh, efficiently. Each arbitrary range query uh, would take uh, O n log log n time to run. This is uh, close to linear time. So to give you a more concrete idea, for a time series with a million data points, uh, it takes around one gigabyte of memory, and then the index, indexing time is around 1.5 hours. Once, in the, uh, once the indexing is built, we can um, uh, finish uh, the computation of every uh, arbitrary range um, metric profile query uh, in around 300 milliseconds. That means 
we can instantly get the result of a query uh, after we issue it. So in the uh, 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 next few slides, I will show you some case studies of our proposed algorithm. So here, we look at the Melbourne pedestrian counting data at the Collins Place North Station in Australia. And we use a subsequent length m equals to five days to explore the uh, data. Um, the data starts uh, at January 1st, 2015 and ends at uh, January 1st, 2018. Um, here we can see uh, in red, the full matrix profile computed over the, a three-year period. We can see there are a bunch of peaks in this matrix profile. Most of these peaks correspond to the Christmas New Year uh, period at the end of each year. And there is another peak here uh, corresponding to the Australia Day in 2017. Uh, so why don't we see uh, the Australia Day um, in the other years to show up as a peak in the full matrix profile. The reason is because they have close matches. So uh, in the figure on the right here, we can see that the five-day pat pattern corresponding to the Australia Day in 2016 uh, looks very similar to the five-day um, pattern covering ANSAC Day in 2017. So uh, we can see that like the full matrix profile can miss some interesting events uh, in this three year period. So in order to uh, um, detect more uh, interesting anomalous events uh, in this uh, three year period, uh, we computed the matrix profiles corresponding to shorter ranges. That is, we computed the monthly matrix profile in this three year period. And then we concatenated the matrix profile for each month into a long time series here. Uh, we applied our stump, uh, our stump algorithm to um, compute this very efficiently. So uh, from the result, we can see that the monthly matrix profile contains a lot more peaks than the full matrix profile. Now let's uh, look more closely, uh, more closely at the monthly matrix profile in 2016. We can see that the, uh, there are around uh, 12 peaks in this matrix profile, and actually every peak corresponds to a holiday or a festival in that region. Um, so matching the ground truth. Uh, so this experiment shows that um, we sometimes need to explore various different uh, matrix profile ranges to find interesting patterns. And the stump algorithms, uh, the stump algorithm allows us to do that very efficiently. So in the next case study, we look at the, electric, uh, the electrical power demand data from the RefFit dataset. We are looking at the rich freezer trace of house five, and we, uh, we explore the first two weeks snippet of it. We first computed the full matrix profile of this snippet and uh, extracted the top one motif from it. We can see uh, here that the top one motif pattern actually is a pattern that shows up when we open the freezer. At the beginning of this pattern, the compressor turns on and off at a regular um, interval. And then um, the compressor starts to consume a lot more power. So we see a bump here in the middle of the pattern. Uh, later on, um, the compressors continue to run for more than two hours. Um, if we look back uh, at the original time series here, we can see that uh, such bumpy uh, patterns occur quite, frequent, uh, quite frequently in the time series. And the frequency of uh, this pattern is around once or twice per day. We are interested to see uh, motifs that locate more close to each other. So uh, uh, in the next experiment, 
we computed the relative range matrix profile of this uh, electronic uh, power data. And uh, here we can find the nearest neighbor location uh, so that it, uh, it can not be more than eight hours from a subsequence. Uh, we extracted the top one motif from this um, uh, eight hour relative range matrix profile and we found the pattern here. So this is a normal pattern of a compressor when the freezer door is closed. It turns on and off. Um, then we extracted the top one discord from the matrix profile. We can see that this pattern actually look very similar to the door open pattern we saw before. And uh, this top one discord from the eight hour relative range matrix profile actually have a very close match around two days after it. Uh, it is now a discord because uh, we, we've forbidden the subsequences to find any matches uh, more than eight hours away from it. This pair of patterns uh, is actually the second best motif in the full matrix profile. So we can see that the concept of motif and discord really uh, depends a lot on the range that we are exploring. Um, when we change the uh, relative range uh, that we compute the matrix profile, uh, the motif patterns and the discord patterns can vary a lot. The STOM algorithm would allow us to discover motifs and discords corresponding to arbitrary ranges very efficiently. So to summarize, we introduced SUMP, a technique to in index the matrix profile to allow for arbitrary range queries. With STUMP, we can compute the arbitrary range matrix profile for a million scale time series in less than a second. STUM allows us to do interactive what-if analysis of the data under arbitrary temporal constraints. We have developed an interactive tool for you to explore the matrix profile corresponding to different ranges. The tool is available at, uh, at our project website alongside the source code and the data sets. You can learn more about the general matrix profile here. Thanks a lot for the attention.